International Relations and Cooperation Minister Lindiwe Sisulu is to hold talks with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Now, this is a follow-up to the meeting held on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in September. The minister made the announcement during a media briefing in Pretoria. Minister Sisulu wrapping up her weekly briefing to the media for 2018, 10 months into the job. The message, South Africa will continue to have strong bilateral relations with different countries. And Pretoria is determined to improve relations with the United States of America. Sisulu will meet her U.S. counterpart, Mike Pompeo, before the end of the month. With the, the United States, um, I'm not sure at what point we would be able to accommodate uh, somebody as big as Donald Trump, President Donald Trump in our country. But we're working on things to, to see that we are normalizing our relations. As I indicated, it's our biggest uh, trading partner. We are concerned about um, dumping steel and aluminum tariffs and all of those things. So we need to have uh, good relations. But uh, we have not got to the point of uh, closing up to that level. Uh, President Donald Trump is fairly new. And we're hoping that uh, with time, as he settles down, even the language will settle down and we will move a little closer and uh, then we can begin considering possibility of uh, a state visit. The country wants to take its rightful place within the family of nations. The president will visit the EU countries and is expected to address the EU Parliament. The President's upcoming visit will commence in Strasbourg, France, on the 14th of November, where President Ramaphosa will address the European Union. It's a gesture that we appreciate from uh, the EU and meet key figures, including the President of the European Parliament, Mr. Antonio Tajani. President Ramaphosa will then proceed to Belgium, Brussels, where he will meet the King of the Belgians, his Majesty King Philippe uh, Leopold Louis-Marie, and the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Belgium, Mr. Charles Michel. He will also receive a courtesy call from the, uh, from the Minister President of the Government of Flanders, Mr. Gert Bourgeois. On the 15th November, the President will co-chair the 7th South, South Africa EU Summit with the President of the European Council, Mr. Donald Tusk, and the President of the European Commission, Mr. Jean-Claude Juncker. The Minister will visit the DRC on Wednesday. This at a time when opposition parties in that country have agreed on a candidate for the presidential election. Currently, the seven parties meeting in Geneva to see how they can uh, cooperate and uh, with each other. And uh, uh, I have been... Uh, very keen to ensure that whatever discussions go on about the DRC, it should include all the parties in the DRC. The only way that we in South Africa were able to overcome the obstacles that we had was when we came together and discussed how we would handle the elections with all parties present. On Rwanda, South Africa yeah. believes relations with Kigali will improve. Do I think that the matter of the uh, inquest of uh, the former general is going to complicate issues? No. If anything, it will actually open up issues and it will be clear to both ourselves and Rwanda why we came to the situation that we're in now. And uh, we would like to make sure that it doesn't happen again. I did meet uh, the emigre population of Rwanda led by General Nyamwasa to indicate to them that we're entering into negotiations with the government of Rwanda and we, in, we wanted to find out from them what their views are as uh, persons who are refugees in our country. It was important that we consulted with them. And I was pleasantly surprised at their response. They said uh, they would be very happy if an opportunity was created for them to negotiate with an uh, with the Rwandan government so that there are hostility, that there's a, an end to hostilities on both sides. President Ramaphosa will also attend a special AU meeting in Ethiopia where the current AU chair, Paul Kagame, will present his report on AU reforms. Sophie Mugwena, SABC News, Pretoria.